Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the feelings, energies between you and this other person that you're thinking about, connecting with, or could be connecting with in the near future. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with the Soul's Journey lesson cards. Kinda get a feel for Gemini's person, spirit. What can you tell me about Gemini's person. This will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection with someone or have someone in mind for Gemini. What is this person's feelings? So we're going to look at their heart space. What are they feeling right now when it comes to you or your connection for Gemini? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. For Gemini, how does this person, the Gemini, is thinking about? How do they feel about Gemini or this connection spirit? Okay, I got friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. First one was peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay, and what's the last one? Well, one more, please. How does this person feel about Gemini or this connection spirit? I think right now what I'm getting so far is that things are good or they have a positive feeling when it comes to this connection or when it comes to you. Oh, okay. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So change. Endings. Beginnings. So it could be that there's your person. Um, I'm getting several messages here. Either there has already been some sort of an ending between you. Or this person is ending something in their life changing something in their life having a new beginning in their life here and that will affect your connection in some way now with peace and friendship um i get the sense that there's almost like a, a comfort when it comes to you like there's a um you know it's like when they think about you it's very calm comforting thoughts i'm just picking that up and almost like you have more of a i mean it's not just a physical connection here but also um there's equal interest you understand each other so let's see what would this person tell you if they had the chance what haven't they told gemini spirit i'm using my um homemade oracle deck here what would this person tell gemini if they could at this time Let's see. What this person tell Gemini if they could? What haven't they told Gemini? We got I miss you. What else would this person tell Gemini spirit? All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box, by the way. An unexpected shakeup. Yeah, I feel like there was a tower moment between you here. Or your person's experiencing a tower moment right now in their life. Bottom of the deck, you are my happy ending. So let's see, I'm going to um, pull some romance angels and get some insight into your connection. What happened there? What's going on for Gemini? What's going on in this connection spirit? What's going on in this connection spirit for Gemini and the person they are? Okay. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. There could have been deception here. 
between you and this person or in, in your connection. It does not have to be something completely negative. It could be something like just not being honest about how you felt about one another. Or it could have been something serious and it caused an ending. Either way, I feel like there was something that happened here. What else for Gemini and this person they are thinking about? What happened in this connection? Pay attention to the red flags reversed. So maybe, um, maybe there was uh, some sort of signs that were being ignored here. Maybe your intuition, this card for me, it means like your intuition was blocked in some way or uh, you weren't listening to your gut instinct. And this could go for your person as well because this is how they feel about you. Um, so this could be what they are thinking right now. They weren't paying attention to the signs and they ignored their intuition and that probably caused them to make a mistake or be deceptive here. What else can you tell me about Gemini's? connection with this person what's going on in this connection this could also be that um, certain red flags uh, that you were kind of thinking about or suspecting actually were true your suspicions were con concern uh, confirmed not concerned English Sarah right. um, your suspicions were confirmed Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Interesting. So again, I do, I do, and it's almost like even if there was difficulty, even though there's like death here, um, which to me is like a, a big change. Um, it's, it's not like a negative energy that I'm picking up here. Bottom of the deck, healing family issues. This could be that there is, um, a couple of things children could be involved or someone's dealing with a family matter that they're trying to resolve in some way so let's get into the tarot i'm going to use the light seers tarot today for gemini and i'm just going to do a simple spread i'm going to pick a few cards to see how your person is feeling um, and what they're thinking and then I'll do a few cards about their true intentions towards you Spirit for Gemini Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time for Gemini For Gemini All right, let's start with how they feel about you. What are they thinking? Spirit for Gemini. What is their person thinking or feeling at this time? What are their feelings or thoughts towards Gemini or this connection? We got the nine of swords reversed. So someone overcoming their guilt, their anxiety. Um, maybe they were having a tough time, but they're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. They're starting to recover, to heal from this, to um, maybe have a little bit of optimism. What else? What is this person thinking or feeling about Gemini? five of wands interesting so this could be that family issues card or some sort of conflict what else spirit what else is this person feeling or thinking They're thinking about conflict, but I feel like they're over the stress regarding that for some reason. Five of Swords reverse. So this is um this could be that whatever bad ending happened between you, and I'm gonna clarify some of these. Um, whatever happened here, I feel like 
someone's really, um, how do I put this? They are, I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. So it's almost like they're seeing this in a mature way. What happened between you? Um, it probably affected them for a while. Maybe they screwed up royally. Um, maybe they made mistakes. Um, and I feel like for a while, their regret, their guilt was eating at them. And so I feel like now there's some sort of um, healing that they want to, to do here. Um, now that Five of Swords, that card, that's what that Deception card could be. Um, it could be that someone had more of an ego or didn't want to lose um, anything in their in the connection between you. Um, and so their ego, that this wanting to always win, to always have the upper hand, to not um, be hurt, um, I feel like it caused them to, to either walk away from you or to do something that they regret. So let's see, what, is, what are their true intentions towards you? What is this person's true intentions towards Gemini? This person's true intentions there towards Gemini. The sun reversed. Interesting. I don't think this person is. I feel like they're not, they're either not opening up or they still want to hide something here. What is this person's true intentions towards Gemini? We'll see what that sun reverse is about in a minute. What's this person's true intentions towards Gemini? The Fool. Wow, okay. Taking a risk. A leap of faith. Maybe they want a new beginning with you, Gemini. Let's see. What else can you tell me about this person's true intentions? towards Gemini. Interesting. I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles reversed. It's like they want commitment. They want uh, an opportunity. But for some reason, there's a Page of Pentacles reversed. Either they don't have the resources or there's a delay. We'll look at that in a little bit here. My cards are driving me nuts. Okay, so let's clarify some of these. I'm just gonna use the same deck. I'm gonna keep things simple. Spirit, help me clarify. Help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Let's start with this. Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about? This is like conflict, arguments. What's this What's this Five of Wands about? It's a burden that they want to drop. They can't keep doing something here with uh with the conflict here. It's it has to be dropped. Maybe the the this situation that they're in, um, whatever situation they're in here. There's two ways to go about this, Gemini's, and I'm going to be honest with you because I'm not here to sell a story, okay? I'm going to tell you the truth. There's two messages that this could be. Either your connection had drama or conflict in it and your person dropped it. They might be missing you, um, but maybe they are thinking it's better this way. Or maybe they're thinking, um, I just want peace and it's not like they might not want to work it out but it's almost like it's almost like what what really how, how is the thing is going to be different now for others of you this is someone who's having some sort of conflict in their life right now and they're dropping a burden they cannot do this conflict anymore Seven of Pentacles reverse. See, that's what I'm saying. This goes with both messages. If you are the Gemini that I'm talking to where your co connection with this person was dramatic and has baggage and there was just fighting all the time or possibly jealousy, someone felt like that was a bad investment and they dropped a burden here. 
Um, that's for those of you that have already separated from this person because of something that happened in your connection. I think it's this. Um, it could also be that they are having conflict in their life and it got to be too much. Um, and again, they're thinking this has been a waste of time. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. What happened here with the Five of Swords reverse? Four of Wands reverse, lack of stability, something to do with home. No harmony in the home. There possibly was, again, a lot of fighting, or this is what your person is thinking about right now. That they want stability, and yeah, they want things to be fair and balanced. But I don't think that's the case. It could be that they want to make something right here as well, want to balance something that's not balanced here. I got one more for this Five of Swords reverse. It could have been that there was a situation between you that ended badly, or it could also be for some of you that this person, they weren't able to give you stability because they're dealing with something. They're wanting to rebalance this though. I really do think your person just wants peace. Um, they, they don't want drama. They don't want to be stressed out. I feel like, I feel like they're over that. Knight of Wands. And then bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like your person wants something, but they're, they're unable to give right now or they're dependent on someone right now. Um, Queen of Pentacles reverse could also be someone who um, there could be issues in a long term commitment. So if you are in some sort of a third party where your person is with someone else, I feel like they're not able to detach from that person. There's still a dependence there for some reason. If you're not in a third party, then this is just your person wanting to um, take action here. They have something that they want to move on. They want to make a move. But this Queen of Pentacles reverse, it could be an interference for them or they don't have the resources. They're, they, they're dependent on something. They're also possibly not really able to give right now. So let's see. What is the sun reversed about? What is the sun reversed about? What does your person want to keep hidden? Or maybe this is something that they just don't want to communicate at this time or have out in the open. Let's see. Tell me about the sun reverse. Thank you. Oh, that's way too many. Interesting. Tell me about the sun reverse. Children could be a factor here. I have healing family issues. I have the sun. And I just saw the six of cups. So double Capricorn energy. See, it's like there's an attachment here. And I feel like your person is like it's keeping them in the dark. Or they're not, they're not really um, being open about this. This could also be that someone has a lot of, um, it's like maybe like a physical attraction, a temptation that they feel towards you, lust. Um, but more than anything, I thought of um, attraction. And then I have the world reverse. So it's almost like your person hasn't wrapped up a new cycle yet because of an attachment here. And it's like they, their intention is a new beginning, but this is still kind of in the way. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? The tower reversed. Wanting to prepare for a tower or avoid a tower. Wait, what is that about? Five of Pentacles reverse. So it's almost like they want to come out of the cold and heal this connection. They miss you. They are probably feeling... Um, there's a separation here from you and um, I feel like this new beginning this risk I don't think they want to be away from you is what I'm, I'm getting here 
They don't want to be away from you, but they're still attached to something here. It could be a toxic environment that they're currently in, again with the family issues. So why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? They want commitment. They want to make you an, a solid offer here. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Wow. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Queen of Swords reversed. It's like all they can give you is love right now. There's a delay in bringing you an actual offer or opportunity here. Maybe they don't have the financial resources or maybe um, they've put this on hold until they wrap something up here. But it's not like the emotion is not there. Um, this Queen of Swords reverse again, this is some sort of block. See how like every good card has a block. We have the Fool with the Tower reversed, Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles reversed, Love with the Queen of Swords reversed. There's a block here. Can I get one more for this Page of Pentacles reverse? Can I get one more for this Page of Pentacles reverse? Queen of Swords reverse popped up again. The message is the message. What's at the bottom? Three of Pentacles reversed. Some of you are definitely in some sort of third party situation here. And this Queen of Swords is a block. This could be anybody. It could be a partner that they're currently with. It could be a family member, a friend, a coworker, a boss. Um, someone very difficult. And, I, you know, as far as intentions go, these are really good intentions here, Gemini. I don't think you should be able to, you know, you, you can doubt your person's intentions. But um, 